So now let's get working with GitHub. In GitHub, you want to search all the repositories, PhoneGap build, PGB, hello world, all one word. What that does is that brings up a whole bunch of files that are hello world type files or repositories for beginning and actually some advanced stuff. There's an Ajax one, um, not too bad. Let's go to the second page. There's one I really like, easy. If I read the index.html and I copy that, copy it, let's go back to our PhoneGap one. And I find the PhoneGap one a bit confusing. I prefer web page design, on load, uh, things like that. So let's see, once I save this, I'm going to look at my um, command prompt see what's going on there. Actually, it looked like it uh, shut down. That's interesting. Let's fire it up again. Looks good. Looks like the same um, information there. The iPad. Here's an Android. Both the other sites. Let's go and find another uh, there's easy. Let's click on this one. This is links images. So here's the index file. Looks like this one doesn't even have a doc type. So control copy that. Come to our main program. Paste it. Save it. And it auto refreshes on both the iPad. Let's look at these two devices. I'll save and let's see what happens. There, the iPad uh, did it right away. I'm going to four finger tap the Android and it must have thought I three finger tapped because it's going to want to reconnect. That's okay. Reconnect and the Android one should work fine. Uh, notice the YouTube video there which actually should work with sound. Let's have a little look. There's one of my other videos. Um, I want to show you how to... It's got an image. Now, let's see what happens when we go to a page that hasn't actually... isn't actually there. You see? So let's try that three finger tap again. And in this case it didn't work. So you need to... That's a bit of a gotcha. Okay, let's see if the um, iPad reacts the same way. Here we go, same kind of gotcha, let's try the three finger tip, try the four, no, so on the iPad you gotta double click the home button, get it out of there, and click the home button and get back in. So we're gonna connect with the Android and connect with the iPad again. Okay, so it's got the regular, it's got the, you know, button to Google which works. Same thing on the iPad button to Google, which works. Um, interesting about going back. So I'm going to refresh it. That didn't work. You've got to have a back button unless there's an easy way on the iPad to go back. Anyway, let's stop that. GitHub, I'm going to go have a look at tables. Once again, this is just web page stuff. So I'm going to copy it into my index.html, save it, and let's see what happens over here. The iPad loads up the tables and the Android loaded up the tables. And on the Android phone. So let's go back to phone get, uh, GitHub, look for another one with the CSS animations. Here's the index file. Copy the index file. And get to our index of our phone. Paste in the new index file. Save it and see if on the iPad right away. Instantly shows up on the iPad. Looks like it's doing great on the uh, Android. 
refresh that. Let's see which one reacts. There, the Android almost instantly. I'm going to four-finger tap the iPad there. So CSS animations working fine. Let's see what else we have. Advanced. Okay, that one's a bit more advanced because there are some files in there. Uh, just for the heck of it, I'm going to copy these files. One. There we go. So what do we have here on the iPad? Notice the Android didn't refresh, so four-finger tap. And there we go. Oh, the CSS is still in there. That's pretty cool. Um, I might not have cleared it out, but look what these are. These are Blender STL files. They're the 3D printing files. And so you can move them around. This one has color. This one doesn't have color. You can zoom in. This is pretty fancy stuff going on a, a little um, smartphone. There you go. 3D viewing. I like that that CSS is still there. You can zoom out. 3D. So that's pretty cool stuff. I'm going to... Uh -oh. So now I'm going to um, save an SVG animation. There. The Android got it right away. Okay. SVG animations. I've got some more advanced ones, but they're not set up. Um, the iPad seems to have little issue with that big a, a change, but let's see if SVG animations work. We're connecting. And let's see what we got. There we go. SVG animations. Not the world's best animation. With the um, file, there's some more advanced stuff you can do. Here we have a bit of a gotcha with the the new um, serve feature with PhoneGap. Is here I'm having some problems getting, say, the camera working in PhoneGap Build. Well, strangely, it's working fine in here. Take a nice, interesting black photo. Save it. And let's just turn that upside down. And it actually got that one. Uh, notice sound is the advanced sounds, the polyphonic sounds are actually working. Um, I'm going to start recording. Hello, I'm recording. Yes, it works. Play it back. Hello, I'm recording. Yes, it works. And. Let's play something else. Wow. Oh, I'm recording. Yes, it and works. That's as polyphonic as you're going to get. Stop that. Um, so, there's the gotcha is some things that aren't working in PhoneGap Build are working with this new um, Serve uh, app developer, which is a bit of a gotcha, but is is very cool that it's working on uh, these things. Let me just quickly see if those things work on the iPad. Here's the one that I was doing. Uh, play it. Hey, that's working fine. The record won't work because I haven't got it set up for the iPad. Anyway, there you go. Pretty cool stuff. One really cool thing about this is you don't have to pay the $100 a year to Apple to get their certificates. And as long as I don't reboot these phones, that app is there. Um, yeah, when I go back into it, you see it doesn't go to the connect. Let me shut down my, my serving with control C and see what we have still on the phones. Can I still mess around with it? Uh, go see if... Hey, I haven't tried writing a file. Let's go write this. Oh, that's interesting. With the serve gone, it's not going to the page. Let's try this one. Uh, it'd be nice if I knew how to get go back a page. There's the index. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. With the serve not hooked up, it is not fully a live app. 